Uh, halo, uh, di sini saya akan mereview uh, web dari Coursera. Uh, di sini saya sudah login sebelumnya, terus di menu di My Coursera di sini ada last aktif, last aktif yang terakhir dikunjungi, terus ada inaktif yang tidak aktif sebelumnya atau yang tidak aktif sekarang terus di sini ada komplit yang materi yang sudah selesai dipelajari terus ada update terus ada akumulasiman e, prestasi atau sesuatu yang berhasil yang yang sudah berhasil terus ada rekomendasi Uh, rekom re rekomendasi materi yang bisa dipelajari terus di sini ada katalog uh, di menu katalog di sini ada banyak materi ada art and humanities ada bisnis ada computer skin ada data skin ada life skin terus uh, math and logic ada personal development, ada physical skin and engineering, ada social skin, dan terakhir ada language learning. Terus uh, di sini ada uh, tombol menu, eh, uh, search, search maksudnya uh, di sini kita bisa mencari materi yang kita inginkan. Terus di sini ada institusi uh, institusi di sini uh, berguna untuk uh, meet our partner atau atau bisa bertemu dengan uh, seseorang partner di sini ada institusi berbagai institusi di belahan dunia seperti ada di Barcelona, ada di Meksiko, ada di California, ada di Eropa dan masih banyak lagi. Selanjutnya uh, di sini ada menu ada menu di pojok sini ada profile, ada setting ada my purchase, ada learning help center, ada sign out. Uh, saya kembali lagi ke menu home, menu home saya. Uh, kita coba di last aktif uh, materi yang terakhir saya kunjungi, saya pelajari. Di sini saya baru men-start start materi ini. Uh, kita akan lanjutkan video dari materi ini. Hi, I'm Virginie Galtier. Welcome to this course. You're probably here because you're curious about Android programming. Or maybe you have a great idea for an app and you just need a leg up to get started quickly. In this video, I'll explain how is this project center course organized. Right after this introduction, you will be presented with three exemplar apps. You can try them on your phone or just broad uh, their description. That will give you a sense of the kind of app you will be able to build at the end of the course. And in fact, these apps are made of different basic functionalities. For example, one functionality is to play a sound. Another one is to save information on the phone. Another is to change screen when the user clicks a button. Uh, well, we'll consider these basic functionalities as building blocks or bricks. And this week, we will look at six other bricks. To display an image, 
to adapt to the language settings of the phone, uh, to send text messages, to display web page, to let the user input information, and to organize graphical components of the user interface. For now, we will only see the outside of the bricks from the user's perspective. Your first job will be to imagine how your app can be built using a combination of the basic blocks. Uh, what experience will you propose to the users of your uh, application? That's where you start working on your own project, your um, own application. All the learner will use the same block as you do. Uh, mungkin bisa dilihat full videonya, uh, bisa dicek di Coursera.com. Uh, sekian dari review saya, uh, sekian terima kasih.